What happens if you take too much vitamin D3? Now, I had some patients that went above the reference range. They went over 100 nanograms per ml. And for the most part, I did not see any issues here. Though, of course, the risk theoretically is hypercalcemia. And that can actually manifest as bone pain, nausea, vomiting, you know, feeling lousy. Kidney stones uh, are more likely here and all that. Um, but again, this is something in quite extreme cases. And what I've seen actually for most people going slightly off the reference range was not an issue. Now, that being said, are there any benefits of taking so much vitamin D3 that you do go above the reference range? And I don't really see that. So when you look at the literature, I don't think there's a lot of advantages to do so. Keep in mind that the reference range is actually a sample of the population of people that are considered to be healthy, normal individuals. Now, when we have a chronic deficiency of vitamin D3 in the population, we can also argue that the reference range might not be correct. But for all practical purposes, I think in this case, it might be something that is actually uh, fairly well established. And the 100 nanograms per ml is the upper limit here. So again, going above it might cause problems in some individuals, and uh, that's really hypercalcemia and its manifestations. Um, one thing that you should definitely do when you take vitamin D3 is take it together with vitamin K2, and you need quite a bit of K2. What usually comes as a combination is insufficient, so it's not a good idea to just keep um, adding on vitamin D3 tablets to get your vitamin K2 up, because then you have way too much D3 to get your adequate K2. So it's better to separate them out. So you have your vitamin D3, and then you take a K2 separately. Now, this is not advice for anyone. I talked about this in other videos before, but my current regimen is 5,000 to 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 with about 300 to 400 micrograms of K2. And again, I take them in separate form for the most part. And this works actually quite well. Then, of course, uh, zinc and also magnesium. I take magnesium glycinate. Zinc, you don't need a lot, about 25 milligrams or so. 